Hey guys, I'm back again for another reaction video from the Tony Awards. Um, I'm like a day late. Uh, so, because I didn't get to watch them. So I think it's better when I don't watch them and then do a reaction video. That way, both me and my audience can both have that experience. Uh, I get to see it in person and have that reaction and you get to see me <laughs> freak the fuck out for all of it so and before i go any further i do want to say that there is no copyright infringement intended all rights are reserved to the composers and to whomever else it concerns i do not own any of this music or anything involved with this video, performance, show, what have you. Uh, and I'm also going to put that down below in the description because I know YouTube likes to block my content because of copyright. So, I hope you guys enjoy me freaking out. This is my reaction to Once on this Island at the Tony's. And this show is special to me, just like uh, Mean Girls, uh, because when I was in college, which I didn't finish, but that's for another story, another video, um, we did this show. I auditioned for it, but they wouldn't let me be in the show because uh, my regular classes, like math, science, what have you, uh, I was failing, so they would not let me be in the show. So they didn't tell me when I was auditioning. They waited till after I auditioned to tell me that we're not letting you in the show because of your grades. But they already knew. So they just wanted to make me look at, like an ass. But anyways, back to the video. So, again, this is uh, the performance from the Tony Awards of Once on this Island, and it's like a mashup. So, now, whenever I, I listen to the soundtrack, because I have the soundtrack, when it gets towards the end of the show on the soundtrack, I feel myself starting to, like, well up. And it's not just because of the storyline. It's just like I was so filled with emotions uh, when they were rehearsing, when I was backstage helping people because I was one of the dressers. So I helped people get in and out of their costumes. I helped set up the costumes and dressing rooms. So blah, blah, blah. This show is special to me too. So I hope you guys enjoy this. begins on the night of a flood. Yes. He got that black woman voice. 
Right. You better dance. Hey, Daniel. This girl is T-Moon is good. I can hit that. That was kind of like Beyonce's crazy in love rip. A little bit. Oh my god. <sighs> that was so good. Alex Newell's voice is just like even if it's even if it's in a harsh belty tone, which is not a bad thing. It's just like it, it I don't know how to explain it. It's like putting lotion on that I know that sounds weird but like whenever you hear him sing it's like you feel refreshed like after you shower and put lotion on you feel refreshed that's what his voice does to you that performance was beautiful I did not see any flaws with that that was great I'm so proud of them. And like I said, that show is dear to me. Uh, the girl that played T Moon in, uh, when I did it at college, uh, she was so good. I think she was better than LaShawn's, to be quite honest. Not saying that LaShawn's is bad. LaShawn's, eh? I'm not... I'm probably butchering her name. But... And I apologize. Because she is very talented and beautiful. But... The girl that played T-Moon... The adult T-Moon... Um... Was just wonderful... At my college... And the girl who played Little T Moon at my college, she wasn't an actual little girl. She was like my age at the time. And she's just really small and petite. So everyone thinks she's a child. So it just fit perfectly. And the way they transitioned it for our production, uh, excuse me. They had this long line pulling Little T Moon off stage into the wings. Meanwhile, older T Moon is waiting for that last person of the train pulling to grab onto her and then go around same wing, just another curtain, and they come out 
and it's like, poof, grown T-Moon. And I just think those kinds of things, that gives it the theater magic. Now, I'm not quite sure how they do it actually on Broadway, um, but that'd be cool to see. I would so go see this musical. And what's great about this musical is even though with like the dialogue or the um, kind of the storyline, you would think it's made for black people. But it's, it's not. It's not just black people. Anyone can be cast in this musical. The one we did, it was a multicultural cast. So, but yeah, that was very good. I'm so proud of them. <sighs> Sorry, okay. I'm just gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna keep posting reaction videos to this year's Tonys. And make sure you comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!